so <clears throat> what I want to do today is uh, go focus on black body radiation curve, how we can use black body radiation curve to decide the temperature of the star, and then furthermore we can tell the color of the star. So if you can take a look at the slide here, okay, I showed you the slide last class. I want to just give a little bit more detailed explanation for this curve. If you look at the black body radiation curve, the y-axis is the intensity, so how much light a star emits. And then the horizontal axis is frequency, or sometimes you can see wavelength, okay? We know the higher the frequency, uh, the lower the wavelength is. We talked about that before. And then if you can take a look at the black body radiation curve, there are two things you should pay attention to. One thing is the, you know, the peak. The peak, where the peak happens, at which frequency the peak happens, and then how high it is the peak. So those are, those are the two things related to the peak. One thing is where the peak, at which frequency or wavelength the peak happens, and then how high the, the peak is located. Okay, so as you can see from this example here, so if you have um, the higher the peak, you see the temperature actually is bigger. Okay, so the temperature is higher, the luminosity is gonna be bigger. And then also the other thing you can see where the peak happens is going to sort of, it's a, it's a simplified version of telling the, the color of the, of the star. So where the peak happens is going to tell you the color. So that's the major thing I want to uh, explain from the slide. But now if you look at the, uh, uh, the worksheet I, I asked you guys to do, on the black body radiation worksheet. So you are supposed to do first page, second page, third page, and then the, uh, the last page. So there are four pages related to this exercise. If you take a look at the first page, okay? So the first page uh, basically talks about how you represent intensity of the light based on uh, its color. Okay, so if you take a look at this figure here, you can see uh, from violet all the way to the red, and then you can see for different color, the intensity of the light, you can represent, use this uh, line over here. So the higher the line actually indicates that intensity of that particular color is bigger. Okay, so that's the idea. So I want you guys to try this page. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. The thing I want to spend more time on would be if you could turn to the second page, part two. Okay, so I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna try to explain to you what it means and then you guys can follow the instructions here to do the exercise uh, for this tutorial. Um, Different colors of light are manif manifestations of the same phenomenon, but have different wavelengths. For example, red light has a wavelength between 650 nanometers and 750 nanometers, while violet light has a shorter wavelength between 350 nanometers and 450 nanometers. Stars also give off light at wavelengths outside the visible part of the spectrum, as seen in figures 2A to B and to C. So you can see these three figures over here. Um, the most important features of the star's black body curves are, first, as I mentioned, is maximum height of peak. Okay, the maximum height of peak. How high the peak is, is going to tell you uh, the energy output of the star. The second is the peak, the wavelength at which this peak occurs, called the peak wavelength, an indication of the star's temperature. The longer the peak wavelength, the cooler the star. So it means that the red light we know is, has longer wavelength than the blue light. So that's why uh, the longer the peak wavelength, if the peak wavelength happens close to the red end of the, of the spectrum, that means the star is going to be reddish and it's going to be cooler. On the other hand, if the peak wavelength happens at the shorter end of the wavelength, which is the blue end, and then that tells you the, the, the star is going to be bluish and then the star actually is hotter. Okay, 
So if you look at the figure 2a here, to figure 2a, so for example, if star A and B are the same size and temperature, so forget about, you know, uh, remember the luminosity depends on the size as well as temperature. If both star A and star B are the same size, same temperature, they're going to have exactly the same black body radiation, okay, so they're going to have the same luminosity. However, if star B is the same size as star A, but it's cooler, then that means its energy output, the luminosity is going to be smaller, so the energy output is less at all wavelengths. So you can see here star B actually is much lower than star A here. So that means energy output is smaller, and the peak occurs at a longer wavelength. So you can see that the B here, the wavelength actually is happening, if you can take a look at here, the peak of the B happens at red end, so that tells you the B star is uh, a red star, actually it's a cooler star, okay. So that's, that's how you're going to do this exercise, okay. So again, two things, okay, let's go back here, two things. One thing is how high the peak is, it's going to tell you the intensity of the light, okay? And then how, where the peak happens is going to tell you the temperature of the star as well as the, the color of the star, okay? So I'm going to ask you guys to practice on this uh, tutorial exercise and then uh, if you have questions, you know, I'm going to come back, you know, uh, next class and then just try to explain a little bit more in details. So let me know what kind of questions you have.